Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another brand new after effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create this. There is a great news i will share the full project file with you and you can download it and customize it yourself download link in the description box below so please check this out okay so let's get started okay so open after effects and create a new composition and let's call it slideshow and I'm going with 1920 by 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 seconds then click on OK. Ok let's add our background image. You can also use video clips. Then select the image and place this in your timeline. Then press S to open scale and make it little bit smaller. Then right click on it and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to image then click on ok then go to beginning of this animation and press s to open scale and set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and make it 120 percent like this Again right click on it and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to image final. Then click on ok. Then go to beginning of this animation and press S to open scale and make it 105%. Then press P to open position and set a keyframe on position and X amount set it 1008 then go to around 5 seconds and X amount set it 912 perfect ok now go to effect and preset window and search for brightness and contrast then select the effect and apply onto this layer then go to effect control panel and brightness set it minus 10 and contrast set it 5 and click on use legacy ok now we are created text so right click new and click on text then type your text here and I am using Big John and Slim Joy font you can download this font from link in the description box below and you can customize your text as you like ok now press B and select the text and move it right side ok now go to beginning of this animation and select the text layer and press P to open position and set a keyframe on position then go to around 5 seconds and then select the text layer and move it something like this perfect ok let's add our dust layer then select the layer and place this in your timeline you can see that this layer size is small 
for this press alt ctrl f to fit this layer into composition then change the layer mode to add okay perfect now select this image final layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer and put it above all the layers then go to beginning of this animation and press s to open scale and make it 110 percent then press p to open position and position x amount set it 1056 perfect now go to 5 seconds and x amount set it 863 okay let's zoom out our composition then select rectangle tool and make sure the top layer is selected then go to beginning of this animation and create a shape something like this then click on max 1 and set a keyframe on max path then go to around 5 seconds then press V to select selection tool and double click on max path and move it something like this press V then change the shape style something like this then change the max mode to subtract ok now go to effect and preset window and search for fast blur then select the effect and apply onto this layer then blurriness set it 15 and blur dimension set it vertical and click on repeat edges then delete the brightness and contrast effect ok now again go to effect and preset window and search for drop shadow then select the effect and apply onto this layer and then distance set it 0 and softness set it 150 and opacity set it 100 ok now select all the layers and press u to open keyframes and select all keyframes and press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and change the graph crop to something like this perfect ok let's uh, ramp view this wow it's look really awesome ok now create a new solid layer so right click here and new and click on solid and make it black and rename it to mask then hit enter ok now select the mask layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this mask path and hold down alt control and drag then change the max one mode to subtract okay again create a new black solid layer right click new solid and uh, rename it to vintage then click on ok now select the layer and put it below the max layer then select the layer and go to a toolbar and select ellipse tool and double click on it then change the max mode to subtract then press F to open max feather and increase the max feather then press T to open opacity and opacity set it 30% ok now select this max point and move it closer something like this that's how I made the whole project and you can download full project file from link in the description box below and you can customize it yourself thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a nice day